The U.S. Army is advancing its hypersonic capabilities with the planned deployment of its long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, to an active unit by late 2025. This information was detailed in a recent U.S. Congress report released on February 27, 2025. The initiative underscores the military's focus on maintaining technological superiority in modern warfare, particularly as global powers accelerate their own hypersonic missile programs. The LRHW is part of a broader modernization strategy aimed at countering emerging threats and ensuring the U.S. remains at the forefront of military advancements. Recently, soldiers from Bravo Battery, 5th Battalion, 3rd Field Artillery, Long Range Fires Battalion, 1st Multidomain Task Force showcased the LRHW's capabilities at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, during the Bamboo Eagle 24-3 exercise. This demonstration marked a crucial milestone in integrating hypersonic technology into multi-service operations, emphasizing its role in modern combat scenarios. Hypersonic weapons such as the LRHW travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, with some reaching Mach 20, or around 24,000 km per hour. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles which follow a predictable arc, hypersonic weapons boast maneuverability mid-flight, making them significantly harder to intercept. This unique combination of extreme velocity and agility enhances both offensive and defensive operations, rendering current missile defense systems largely ineffective against them. The LRHW is designed as a ground-launched missile system incorporating an advanced hypersonic glide body equipped with a conventional warhead. With an estimated range of approximately 2,776 kilometers, 1,725 miles, and speeds exceeding 6,100 kilometers per hour, 3,800 miles per hour, it can strike high-value targets with unparalleled precision. The weapon's flight path enables it to remain beyond the reach of most missile defense systems until the final approach, making interception nearly impossible. Potential targets include enemy command centers, naval assets, missile defense sites and strategic infrastructure, providing the U.S. Army with a formidable advantage in high-stakes military operations. As part of its broader strategic role, the LRHW enhances the U.S. military's ability to neutralize anti-access-slash-area denial A2-slash-AD threats, suppress adversary long-range capabilities, and strike high-priority targets with minimal warning. Its development aligns closely with the U.S. Navy's conventional prompt strike CPS, program, enhancing interoperability between service branches and solidifying hypersonic technology's place in the U.S. defense arsenal. The LRHW system features the common hypersonic glide body, CGB, and a 34.5-inch booster developed by the Navy. The missile component, a collaborative effort between Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, is launched from a mobile, truck-mounted system. When integrated with the hypersonic glide body, the complete system is known as the Navy Army All-Up Round Plus Canister, AUR Plus C, serving as the primary booster for both the LRHW and CPS programs. This dual-service capability ensures a unified approach to hypersonic deployment across land and sea. The integration of the LRHW into the U.S. Army's operational framework represents a paradigm shift in strike capabilities, enabling engagement at unprecedented ranges while bypassing conventional missile defenses. Its rapid deployment and adaptability ensure that adversaries face a significant strategic challenge, deterring hostile actions and reinforcing the U.S. military's global influence. The urgency surrounding hypersonic weapon deployment is amplified by the accelerating programs of rival nations such as China and Russia. The LRHW provides a critical strategic advantage by allowing the U.S. to conduct precision strikes deep within enemy territory at velocities that render interception nearly impossible. Its ability to alter course mid-flight further complicates enemy countermeasures, establishing hypersonic weapons as an indispensable asset in modern deterrence strategies. A major milestone in the LRHW's development occurred in August 2024 when the 1st Multidomain Task Force's sole hypersonic battery participated in Bamboo Eagle, an eight-day joint military exercise. This marked the first integration of U.S. Army land-based hypersonic fires into an Air Force-led operation. Conducted across multiple locations in the U.S., the exercise involved over 3,000 personnel from the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and Allied forces such as the Royal Air Force and Royal Australian Air Force. The successful incorporation of LRHW capabilities demonstrated its viability for coordinated, multi-service warfare, solidifying its role in future military strategies. Originally, the LRHW was slated for deployment to the 1st Multidomain Task Force at Joint Base Lewis-McChord in Washington, 
specifically within the 5th Battalion, 3rd Field Artillery Regiment, 17th Field Artillery Brigade. However, recent reports suggest that final deployment locations remain undecided. Despite this uncertainty, the U.S. Army remains on track to introduce the LRHW to active units by the end of 2025, with full operational status expected soon thereafter. Looking ahead, the LRHW represents just the beginning of the Army's hypersonic ambitions. Research and development efforts continue to refine its capabilities while exploring air-launched and sea-based variants to enhance the military's flexibility in high-speed precision warfare. These advancements will complement existing systems, ensuring the U.S. retains a decisive edge in next-generation missile technology. Hypersonic weapons are revolutionizing military strategy, offering rapid, precise strikes that challenge conventional defense mechanisms. Their deployment signifies a fundamental shift in global conflict dynamics, serving as both a deterrent and an offensive powerhouse. As part of a comprehensive modernization initiative, the LRHW cements its place as a pivotal asset in future U.S. military engagements, guaranteeing sustained dominance on the global stage.